Hi there and welcome to another Nomad Bushcraft uh, video. Um, this week we're going to talk about uh, flint tools. I'm going to show you how to make some very simple stone tools called a discoidal knife. I call them flint tools but they're actually stone tools uh, and I'll explain how they're made in a minute. For those of you who haven't uh, been to any of our courses or seen us at the Wilderness Gathering, I'm kind of known as the, uh, as the, the stone guy. So you normally you'll see me making uh, arrow points and uh, things of this nature, using, doing lots of lectures with flake tools and uh, flint napping techniques. But one of the things that I'm, uh, I'm often asked is, how can you make a really simple, very easy uh, stone tool that anybody can use without having to learn massive amount, uh, massive amount of, about uh, flint technology? Well, the simple, the simple solution to that is the discoidal knife. Very simply put, um, it relies upon two items, two items only. Any rock, and any rock will do. So this is a piece of limestone from the bed of a river. This is a piece of slate uh, from the bed of a river. And this one here is a piece of quartz from the bed of a river. And I'm going to hopefully show you how to make three separate discoidal knives in the length of this video. Okay? Very simple. What you've got to find is a pebble, pebble shaped. This one's irregular, it makes no difference, but something that's thin that you can strike on, whack on this end with another rock. Watch your fingers. You need another rock which is roughly roundish. Here's an ideal rock. It's a quartzite rock, not that that would matter to you, but it's a quartzite rock that's relatively round, about the size of a lemon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to whale on this side, on this sucker here. I'm going to come down and I'm going to strike on this corner. Now, the corner is less than 90 degrees. I don't want to go into all the flint napping techniques, but less, less than 90 degrees is really good for stone working. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down, bam! And what's going to happen is I'm going to get a crack that's generated across here and that's going to be in a conchoidal fracture. You don't need to know that, you just need to know where to hit it. So we're going to hit it on top of here, we're going to hit it with follow through, watch your fingers, here we go. Okay, and that's what we're after. That is a discoidal knife. You can see the edge on that is very good for fleshing, it's good for gutting, it's good for all types of things. The other thing it does is it gives you a chopper with an edge on here. You can now use this as a chopper, so you've got a knife and an axe in one. Very, very simple tool, depending on the size of the pebble, depends on the size of the tool that you get. Let's make another. Okay, so, different type of rock this time. This one is slate. We're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to take a big old rock, we're going to take a corner that's less than 90 degrees, and we're going to whale on it. Here we go. Here is another discoidal knife. Nice and easy, nice and safe. Again, you have the chopper. You're able to take this over, and give that old whack with a chopper. These are some of the earliest types of tools that were made by hominids. Lastly, you say, well, surely not the, the quartzite rock. Yeah, we're going to do exactly the same again. So we take a smaller quartzite pebble here. This one happens to be quartz. Um, we take an angle of less than 90 degrees. We're going to whack it with a rock. Here we go. Watch your fingers and eyes with this. You should be wearing eye protection. I've got the brim of my hat pulled down, just to be sure. Okay. Whoa, lost it on the floor, but here we go. Here is a last discoidal blade. And again, you've got a slightly smaller chopper, which isn't really much use, but you can still use it for fleshing. So there you have it. Three types of blade, three types of rock, same technique, discoidal knives. Go out and try one. They are excellent for cutting bow drill notches and flint tools uh, will come next. Um, if you're interested in flint tools, I have a book and a DVD out uh, towards the end of this year. And if you really like them, see me at uh, www.kentscavern.co.uk or wildernessgathering.co.uk or our own website, which is nomadbushcraft.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.